Hello there, it's Decisive Sloth and uh, welcome to this short introduction of of my new model, this industrial staircase modular piece. I'd like to kind of take a look how I made this model and was like, uh, what's the thing here? Um, I've got it's a it's a basic model. It's it's not nothing. There's nothing really, no no, no magic here. It's it's a it's a simple. Uh, simple hard surface uh, thing with a uh, with a kind of optimal um, poly poly count here it's basically just modeled with the normal quads and and it's modeled to the grid so that it'll um, it'll snap uh, it'll snap uh, it, it's um, yeah I've got plenty of pieces here I've got like uh, some sections here you can see one this is one of the uh, stair adapter pieces which can be used to connect the stairs to the platform here you can see there's one platform here you can see that these uh, actually these bars are aligned so that if you repeat it it will seamlessly repeat uh, it will also seamlessly connect to these other other guys here we got this uh, corner piece here it can be rotated so that you can you know go around corners uh, I've got another platform here, like with uh, this, this uh, end here. Um, I've got some damaged pieces here for the variation. Uh, if you need to create a industrial set where there has been some damage, something has fallen, maybe went through the through these and and, and damaged them. There's some uh, some things here. Uh, so basically the model is is pretty simple it's exported as FBX um, using all trees so that that will import to the Unreal Engine really nicely we can actually take a look at here um, I've uh, created this this simple small set using the, the pieces um, as they are a model to the grid uh, they actually align if you take a look at the the grid values here you got the you, you can keep it in a half meter in the 50 snap value so that they they will just automatically snap into place we could actually uh, maybe try to extend this piece here uh, we could even like uh, maybe uh, drag maybe copy this like that and see if we can uh, we could actually extend it a little bit you can see it oops like that and maybe we could uh, take some stairs here maybe let's see i've got actually i think these these are the stairs actually we can just uh, move these guys around a little bit you can see it's pretty easy to get it snap into place i just have to do change the material here to them so you can see uh Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to put the adapter piece. This, this actually, these stairs need a need an adapter, which we have here. Just a moment, excuse me. I'm just gonna move this guy guy around like that. I'm gonna just change the material, you know, the matched stairs, and then we are you know, we're just gonna drag this stair. You can see now it works. You can see the stairs actually align pretty nicely and. And then, you know, we can maybe take the corner piece, easier to copy, we don't have to change the material. I'm going to actually just move this corner piece here uh, and rotate it. You know, just quickly rotate it like 90 degrees here and and then just move it like you can see it snaps perfectly there. Uh, excuse me, I forgot to put the adapter piece, this thing requires, uh, because that's because, you know, you have to make it in in these models you really have to be really careful so that that you know all pieces line otherwise i couldn't get the handrail to align with with this one so there has to be adapter but it doesn't matter you can quickly quickly make these guys i'm just gonna drop the material here like that and you yeah there you got it you got this gun and we can actually maybe move this one again like this or like this you can see yeah it match and a nice thing about this is that that you can just you know use this reuse these assets like um, 
again and again you could change the color or 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 use it in another environment so it's just uh, this kind of assets are really reusable in in many in many projects uh, i'm actually making a portfolio piece now and this asset i actually designed for for that portfolio piece and and i just have to to kind of get along start to really actually do do that job um i i went on actually and I created some collision for these guys because it's it's really nice i always like to test my models for the games i try like, like to test them in the first version mode so that i can kind of pick if there's something really off i can really easily notice that i actually made and used this automatic collision mesh meshes here in uh, here in Unreal Engine, I just created this use complex collision as simple. It doesn't know what it means, but but it seems to work. I actually have the player here, so we could actually go on and. Oops! Oh shit! That's really, that's a that's a sound effect. Okay, uh, we can actually move. You can see it really works pretty nicely. Actually, it it really works. Uh, we can actually even try to jump here. Oh, I can jump here. Yeah. So, so the models actually, uh, they do, do, do work in the game environment pretty well. Um, you can even see some nice PBR uh, glossiness here with, from the roughness map. Uh, it seems like some of the paint is still glossy even though it's uh, dusty and it's uh, rusty and damaged floors. But we can, um, we can really kind of see how the Unreal Engine's PBR rendering really, really shows its, its power here. Here, so uh, this is how it looks in real. We could take a look at it actually at the textures. I'm just gonna go um, take a look at uh, textures here. Um, I have a simple albedo here. There's no uh, lighting information. There's a, just basically the color. Um, uh, you can see there's some uh, color has like uh, some of the rust has like worn off of uh, there's a rust there's a paint variation here which i made uh, using uh, actually this is just a cloud noise and i clipped a color variation thing to to this noise uh, here uh, i really like to use this by the way this uh, nice feature in uh, photoshop where you can clip these these layers um, actually i'm using a mac normally so i don't actually know how to use the PC keyboard if someone can tell me um, in in a Mac it works really nicely if you just hit command or something and you, you hit it you can actually oh yeah sorry here it works yeah so you can go like you can actually do it like this you go to the middle between these two layers and you press alt and then you can actually snap you can clip one of these adjustment layers to the layers below and then anything you do with the adjustment layer will only affect the layer which is connected to it, which is right below it. It doesn't affect the other layers. This is really nice trick which I uh, which I found for, from a really nice, uh, really great, great game asset creator, this Piper Richard Pipes. And I really love the guy. He's great, uh, great tutor. If you maybe you can check his his uh, YouTube channel. I will link it later. So um, the albedo channel here it is. I've got the, all the things I've actually tried. I've actually tried some uh, things here. I've got them there left in the stack. So if you like to use them, you can go and uh, use them. I've got some really, really bad looking, you know, dirt here. You can you, you can use that if you like. Uh, I've left it off. Um, I've got these these guys here. The albedo is 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 looking like this. Um, really simple just the color map like it should be in a PBR scenario so there's no ambient occlusion there's no uh, fake highlights uh, it's a simple color map as it should be then I've got the normals here it's it's nothing strange here I've got the damaged uh, the, 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 the dust the, the scratches and the, the rust things here and then I've got this uh, this uh, diamond plate pattern here which is just overlaid here with you know uh, blended overlay and and use the click uh, click off the the blue channel so that it doesn't make weirdos here 
I've got the roughness here, then the roughness is, is, is uh, as you can see, uh, it's a metal, so it's the white is the most roughest thing, which isn't, this is the opposite of the glossy, glossy workflow, like it does in Unreal Engine. And then, then these, these blacky things are, are the, 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 still the glossy areas in the, which is in the paint. In the, which is still you can see that the, in the paint there's some still glossy areas like this it might be a tad bit it might be a too much glossiness here but 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 you can adjust uh, of course with levels here you've got the non-destructive non workflow here i've got the invert thing here which directly coming actually from the albedo channels here i'll just uh, unclick some of them which i don't think that will uh, actually benefit us uh, but basically it's really simple and and there's no metalness so the metalness is supposed to be uh, in this in this scenario the metalness should be zero value because there's no visible metal uh, in the PBR scenarios uh, it's a very common mistake that people okay it's a metal so people uh, use metalness values when in fact there's a paint and rust covering the metal but in the PBR scenario that's not supposed to be used like that so that the metal is only only the thing which conducts the electricity which is clear bare metal and and in in this model we don't have any clear bare metal everything is either painted or rusted or damaged so 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 the metalness in in this case even though we use the metalness workflow it, it it's a uh, zero value absolutely um so um this this is uh, i'm pretty happy with the model how it, it it's very usable it's it's definitely um it can be used in the games and uh, real time uh, things uh it it it, it could be that uh, i could have made more pieces and 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 this is sort of a, a bi direct this is actually like one directional model so you can't actually at the moment you can't make a piece to to turn uh, to 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 turn this way we we can always rotate this piece and we can make it go around you know the corners but but this is basically this model is basically designed to to be used um to be used in so that actually this 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 thing doesn't really work but it um it works the other way so it's um little things that i could uh, have uh done better but but uh, other ways than that it really works pretty well